Alrighty, so this is a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm gonna start doing these because I want to get better at recording content and essentially documenting stuff that I've made so that way in the future, I can look back at it and be like, oh wow, I've actually done a lot of stuff. So that way, the I'm forgetting what the name of it is, but it's like the, the thing where it's like, oh, I'm actually not qualified to do this. Um, editing Ryan, put up whatever that is on the screen. But what I wanna highlight uh, this weekend, this is the weekend after Thanksgiving, is I made a super cool app for my Tesla called Tesla Nav. And essentially it rooted from the idea of I was coming back from Black Friday shopping with my girlfriend and I was running Tesla full self-driving for about an hour and a half because I was stuck in traffic. And I was like, I really wish there was a better way to get Waze and sort of that type of infographic on the Tesla browser infographic screen. So that way you can just see full self-driving and then you can see your uh, your navigation, any cops ahead, hazards on the road. And I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. So I found this website right here, teslaways.azurewebsites.net. And I mean, it's good, but it the UI is just like really bad and it uses a lot of memory. I was like, there's gotta be a better way for, for this to work, was I, I did some research on the Waze APIs and stuff like that that I could get, and pulled together some Mapbox information and spent about a day and a half, or actually half a day in cursor to get like an initial version of this. Um, and it worked pretty good. So as you're driving down the road or something like that, it will live report it and be quite performant. So yeah. And then it's obviously got uh, satellite mode because I just love satellite mode for the Tesla. It just makes everything look so much deeper and smarter per se. So um, it's kind of laggy on my screen just because I've got a 4K monitor, but on the actual Tesla display itself, it is extremely performant. I'll put up a video clip of how that looks. Um, but then I was like, hey, how can I make this uh, cooler? Because I think it was only about a little bit through on Saturday that I kind of completed this MVP. And I was like, hmm, I can I can do better than this. So I added in some settings of like speed cameras, traffic layer, and what I really found was interesting was police alerts. So this is, I don't know if this will get me like DMC8 or something like that, or monetized, taken away. But basically, when you're driving along a, uh, a highway or something like that, it can often get annoying if it's like you don't get the Waze alert or something like that of like a cop coming up. And I was like, I wish there was a way that I could just have like the screen quickly flash like a red, blue, red, blue to be like, hey, there's a cop up ahead. Maybe make sure that you're just obeying the speed limit, which I always do. But just in the fair case where you're in a full self-driving mode like Hurry or Mad Max, where it's going a couple miles over the speed limit and you just don't want to make that an issue. So um, I'll show the video here, but this is what it looks like when it detects in your proximity and I actually can pull up the dev mode of what that proximity looks like. So when it detects a cop is in your forward vicinity, it will then uh, make that alert. So that way you can be notified of that. And then obviously if you're traveling, you can set it to like a kilometer or something like that. There's an example of what it looks like. And yeah, it just kind of works. There's another example. So it kind of illuminates the whole screen and just makes it so that way you're aware of a, uh, a police officer or something like that coming up. Um, you can also play a sound alert uh, if that comes. So let me uh, change that. Yeah, so it isn't anything like super crazy or anything like that. Just a little uh, friendly sound effect to say, hey, there's a police officer up ahead, watch out. We've obviously got our little tick over here and then we've got the native Tesla support for viewer orientation, use the car as the viewer, or just true north as always. And then we've got light and dark mode um, if you wanna switch between those and everything just so there's our, our dark mode, there's our light mode and everything like that. So yeah, this is just a documentation that I did this this weekend. Um, oh, I put it out on Reddit. Let me see if I can find the post. So I put it out on Reddit and it got, it's not showing here cause it's not my account that I'm logged in on. Um, it got 
essentially 55,000 views, which is pretty good for Reddit. Got a couple of awards, bunch of comments, bunch of upvotes. And then I also uh, kind of journaled the journey that I went on on X. And one of those... So the primary post that I was uh, I recorded of myself kind of explaining how it all works um, got 121,000 views, which was awesome. Ton of engagements, ton of likes and stuff like that. Same as with this one, got 136,000 views with a bunch of uh, stuff like that. It's getting added to some other homepages and stuff like that. But yeah, I'd say it was a huge success if I pull up my data fast um, information about the site. You can see just today that it got 1600 visitors and we'll see if that kind of sustains or maybe falls off. Um, cause I know a lot of people bookmarked it on their Teslas, but overall my operational cost isn't too terrible. I do have some concerns with the mapping APIs that I might need to swap out for, um, some other issues or something like that. But yeah, this is my receipt of doing, this is Tesla Nav, a super cool, essentially in-app uh, web browser based service for Teslas that you can use to essentially stream in live ways reports. And yeah, I think it's super cool. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm gonna just keep on using this for myself. I think it was super helpful and is just a great idea. But yeah, check it out uh, in the comments below if you wanna drive your own Tesla using it or use it in your own Tesla. But yeah, that's basically it. So let me know what you think and I will see you later. Peace.